Hello everybody, my name is Justice Art, and I'm gonna show you how I created this cool animation. By the way, this is just a small part of animation, so don't leave now. To tell you the truth, I really don't know why the internet is full of her design everywhere, because that design is so simple. But let's go back with how I created Makima in 3D. First, I needed a plan. So I had two options. First option would be make a video for people who needs to get bonked which is an easy option, or choose the hard option and make something cool. Which option do you think I chose? Bro, you not the thinker. Well, sorry boys, but this time I chose to make something cool. Going forward, I will have a little bit of spoilers from the show, so if you're worried about that, you can watch the show and come back later. So I chose the most coolest place I have seen in the anime, which was this underground thingy and I just hate creating buildings so this was a best decision next thing if you're making a, something about Chainsaw Man how will you not include Makima? I'll add her to the environment but I thought it would be just too boring if I make an environment and a character standing in it I should showcase some of her powers I thought if we already have environment and a character and her powers I kinda need something, someone to display her powers on. So I'll had to add some sort of character or demon. Now when we know what we need, let's move right into it. Before I can start sculpting anything, I'll need to gather some references. So I got some from anime, some from manga, some from fan art. Cosplayers does help a lot with creating stuff like I do. So I got quite a few Im images of that. Of course some images for her hair and for her outfit like shirt, pants and even shoes. I even got some for the coat. I did create a coat but I did not use it in the last animation because it didn't look as good as I wanted. Finally we can move out to actual work. So I start with ZBrush. Starting from Sphere, I quickly block out the base. I did make quite a few of her different faces and I did not like any of them for her. This might not be the final one. After that comes the polishing stage. I cannot show you a lot of it because it's not YouTube friendly. I know I will come back to the body and head a bit later, but now let's move to the clothing. Maybe I heard design is really simple, but remaking it in 3D is always super hard. I'm still not very confident on sculpting the folds, but that doesn't stop me from trying. I remade her pants, shirt and coat like four times. I still wasn't really happy with it, but you know, sometimes you just have to go on. Now, when I'm mostly done with the sculpting, I can finally move on into preparing the model for texturing phase. It turned down looking like this. I'm pretty happy with everything. Now, what is left is just to add some hair, so she's not gonna be a bold Makima. Oh, oh, oh. I will say that it looks pretty amazing, but I will be rendering in a different program. Let's check it there. The character is fully done, so now it's time to move to environment. But I'm not that great for environment, so bear with me. Same as most of the models, I start from locking out the shapes. And that way, slowly and slowly adding more and more objects on top, making it look way more complex than before. I had some help from my friends. If by any chance you know 3D, I was more worried about how I'm going to prepare UVs, which is needed for texturing. And little by little, I got done with the environment. I split it in four groups, so it will be easier for me to texture, but in the end, it kind of made it a bit harder. Here are the four different projects I split the environment into. I accidentally saved one file over another and because of that I only have three left but at least the project is already done so I don't have to worry about that let's check how the full project looks like I think 
it looks pretty amazing, don't you think? And now we only have to finish creature, rigging and animation and that will be all the project. At first I wasn't really completely sure of which demon I'm gonna scoop, but I chose tomato one because I thought the design is pretty simple and will not complicate the animation too much, while I will still be able to make it look really cool. Looking really good. And now let's combine it with environment, lightning and some post-processing. I don't want to bore you too much, so I'm not gonna show everything, but it's basically a simple rig with some custom functionality. You can see me showing just how it works. And I added some simulation bones for her tie and her hair, so it will look more lively and I won't have to animate it. And some fixing stuff for her clothing when I'm animating her hands. And you can see it even creates some cool folds. Well, the project is done. Now I just have to combine everything, render and compose it. Just a small warning, the animation can be a bit creepy and a bit spooky, but I did not leave any jump scares or anything like that, so don't worry about that. So let's finally reveal the result. Please leave down in the comments what you liked and what you did not like about this video. If you liked this video I really recommend you to check out these two videos on the side. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!